Hey guys, Happy Go Lucky here. We're actually recording from the garden today, so it's going to be quite difficult to listen and hear me. So I'm using a different kind of mic, and then um, you'll have to just put up with the sounds of nature. It's too nice a sunny day. It's a bank holiday Monday, the sun's out. There's no way I'm going inside, putting a blanket over my head and recording. So we're looking today at IGCC Paper 2, 2020 specimen paper. I kind of bypassed this question. I didn't mean to. I looked at it and thought we've already had that question on Paper 1. But this is slightly different. It's still about sequences, but this time it's not a quadratic sequence like it was on paper one. It's actually, to me, an easier type of question. It's a linear sequence. So the question goes as follows. Let's read it out. Here is a sequence of numbers. 7, 5, 3, 1, minus 1. Part A, find the next term in the sequence. Part B, find an expression for the nth term of this sequence. So what comes next and what's the nth term? Press pause, have a go at the question, and I'll be back with the work solutions in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay guys, back with the work solutions. So the first thing we need to look at when you see a sequence is to find a pattern, if you can see one. There is a pattern in this sequence, it's going down, and it's going down minus 2, negative 2 every time. 7 take away 2 is 5, 5 take away 2 is 3, and so on. So the rule is it's going down in 2. It says find the next term, not what is the rule, so read the question carefully. So what comes next? 7, 5, 3, 1, minus 1, take away 2 more to get to your next term. So that's going to be negative 3, and that's your first mark. For part B, you find an expression for the nth term. That means what's the rule for wherever you want to be in this sequence? So you might want to find the 10th term, or the 100th term, or the 1,000th term. And it would take too long to count them up all the way. Just keep going down in 2, down in 2, a thousand times. So we have to find a rule. The first thing we notice between the numbers then, it's going down in 2s. So effectively it's the minus 2 times tables. It's something to do with the minus 2 times tables. Minus 2 times 1, minus 2 times 2, minus 2 times 3, minus 2 times anything, and that's why we write minus 2n. However, when you actually do your minus 2 times tables, the first term is 7, but minus 2 times 1 for the first term only gives us minus 2. So what do we have to do to get from minus 2 to 7? Well, add 2 to get to 0, and then add another 7. Total, add another 9. So it's not just the minus 2 times tables, it's the minus 2 times tables plus 9. OK guys, so before we go off celebrating that we've got the right answer and a two marks, you should always check your answer. So let's choose a random term. I'm going to go for the third term, which should be 3. So that means we should do minus 2 multiplied by 3, because it's the third term, and then add 9 on top of that. So let's try that. Minus 2 times 3 is negative 6, and negative 6 plus 9 does in fact give us 3. So we've checked it, it works, and the rule for the second part of the question is minus 2n plus 9. OK, I hope you enjoyed that question and learned something from it. I've been Happy Go Lucky, and today you've been finding out the next term and the nth term of linear sequences. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again soon. Bye.